Good afternoon, Jason here, Birchfield Family Farm. An overcast day in mid-September. Out here today with our newest uh, piece of uh, construction. Uh, kids and I built this. This is, uh, this is gonna be for our roosters. We have several roosters in with the hens, which is uh, not really a great fit right now because they're stressing the hens, the hens aren't laying as well. So I want to test one of the uh, principles or one of the, the teachings that I continue to hear in regenerative agriculture is running chickens behind your ruminants, uh, your cattle and your sheep. Uh, three days behind, the chickens will spread out the pats. They'll dig through the manure uh, and they'll they'll actually eat and get rid of the fly larva. And as you know, uh, from some of our other videos, flies are, are definitely a problem out here for us. So I thought, you know, why not, why not put the roosters to use, at least test this idea out and see what we get. This is paddock four. Uh, we're gonna ro move roosters today, let them home here uh, in this new uh, chick shawl that we built. We're gonna let them home overnight so that they get it in their brains. This is where they need to return to. But we've got an area fenced off here where the cattle were just a few days ago and there are tons of untouched pats. And so I'm excited because we're gonna put this idea to use and put these roosters to work. Boys, there's a nice looking black Osterlorp rooster we hatched out. Look at the spurs on that guy. Whew. Wouldn't want to get caught on the wrong end of those. We'll call this guy Rufus. So we'll come back tomorrow and uh, finish up this video, let them out, and uh, show you some shots of what's going on. Smile, sir. All right, day two here, back out here with the roosters. You can see we have a some mesh that broke uh, last night, so there is uh, we did find two out. So we're, we're going to have to fix that, but I'm going to get this uh, get this door going. We can still uh, still test our theory here on if they bust up cow pats again. That's that's what we're we're after here. That's what we want to know. Cows were just here about three days ago, so the question is, you know, rather than bring a tractor, or a harrow, or you know, come out and try and mess with these by hand, will the roosters dig through these and break these pats up? That's valuable because when we return to these paddocks after thirty. 30 days or so, we're noticing the cattle will not eat the grass that's growing up around the pats from the last rotation. So getting these roosters to work, uh, that's, that's valuable. Let's see what we can do here. Here we go. They are out. Let's get to work, boys. All right, day three here with the roosters out on paddock four. Let's walk around and see see what we can see here. I noticed uh, quite a few of these have some marks through them, uh, but we we definitely have pats still out here that have not have not been touched. That guy there hasn't even been touched. Um, but a, a good a good number of these 
have been scratched. Uh, and that's, you know, that's what we're looking for. I'd like to see these worked a, a little more. That's been scratched. That is not. A little bit there. That looks pretty good. A little bit of scratching there. Uh, that one's been torn up pretty good, yeah. So, uh, you know, are they all, are they all scratched out and, and disappeared? Definitely not, but that's probably not a reasonable expectation for, for two or three days in here. So we'll keep you posted. So, you know, lots, some thoughts on this, lots more work, uh, right. To move, uh, this netting, electrify it. You know, we've got two of these, uh, Premier One chicken nets up around this structure here to keep them in. If we didn't do that, you can see the uh, the coop there uh, in the distance. Ooh, that's tricky. Um, they will go back to the the hens if we don't uh, keep a, some electrified netting around them. But um, they're doing they're doing some work. They're doing some work. Does it justify our work um, moving them every three days behind the? the cattle and the sheep, um, that's to be determined. I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna give these guys another another day or two here, see how it looks. Okay, I just opened up this cow pad here with my stick, oh, see him there? Yep, 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 there he goes. Getting out of the sun. Maggots. That's what we're trying to get rid of. This pat was untouched. I opened it up with the stick. Uh, that's what we've got here. Lots of small flies already coming around this thing. So that's what we're that's what we're trying to get rid of. Okay, day four here in paddock four with the eight roosters. Looking around here today, I I am gonna say we have more pats scratched today than the pats that are not. I'm gonna say this is a fit for us. Um, having them do this work justifies our additional labor of moving them, setting up the fences three days behind the cattle. Again, we're doing that to let the, the fly larva, uh, you know, kind of, I guess, grow, hatch, grow, whatever. Uh, three days, three days behind cattle, we'll run chickens uh, probably Probably would do us good to add a few a few more uh, chickens as well. I don't have any more roosters. We'll have to have to think that through. But I would say, you know, uh, for you folks doing regenerative ag, interested in some of these uh, principles, I would say I'm gonna say this is one that has has potential, just based off of what I'm what I'm seeing, what I'm observing here. You know, this is day four. But I had them locked up for the first day. So they've been out here about three days, still kind of getting used to their their tractor uh, chick shawl as well. So I uh, I think this is a fit for us. We're gonna we're gonna continue to to move and, and to pursue this, and I will certainly keep you posted. Okay, so what does the ideal untouched pat look like? And what does the ideal scratched pat? So so this one here, this is untouched. Obviously, you can tell that's a, that's a pretty good looking pat. Um, you know, maybe some bugs or beetles or something there breaking open that crust a little bit, but largely that's that has not been touched. This one here has been worked. Has been worked quite a bit. You can see the crust has been broken on the top. So chickens, uh, they they've been into this one here. But now check this out. This is just about ideal. I mean, look, that entire thing is spread out. You know, you're you're not really seeing, not really seeing flies. You know, the uh, larvae have been been eaten. I mean, look at this. There's just nothing left of this. They just totally annihilate. I mean, this is what we're looking for right here. So whatever. Whatever I can do to encourage this behavior, here's another good one. Just scratch the daylights out of that thing. Spread it all around. I mean, that's valuable, right? No harrow, no gas, no nothing. 
just animals going to work, sanitizing the pasture. Good stuff.